I don't know. I gotta get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am, I'm, I'm serious, I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I realize this about myself, like, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. <laughs> Either I'm gonna, I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna end up being that creepy old guy, hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> No, seriously, I don't know was, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. There's this critical point when you stay single too long that when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that to, eh, hey, fuck it, say it, see what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, this, 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 the evil that just, just opens up, it's just, you know. I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you, right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want shit? And you literally, you know, Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know? Every day, just Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. So one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets, I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes, here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? It's what I am, you know? I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days, they, they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they wanna do. Like, hey, let's go get a picnic. We'll have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you fucking... <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta... Just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off. Like... You just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. And they start coming back. Go see my parents. No, they're relentless, they never stop, and there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bound guy, hey, I go to the fucking gym, slap his protein shake out of his hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face, totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. To, like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. <laughs> oh yeah. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name, Susan did this shit. <laughs> You're sitting like, now, can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? It's good for you. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I know. It hurts, you know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed, but at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> and I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd like make that adjustment. <laughs> that's, 
guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just gonna say this kind of thing. Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Yeah, you wanna hear this story? This is a great one. This is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she's still blasting me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. Okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday, let's fucking keep it nice, you know? <laughs> let's keep it nice, right? And I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? I was doing the rope a dope. I was leaning back, I was pulling her head in, I was leaning on her, talking shit, trying to tire her out, right? And then all of a sudden, she just went up top, fucking wham, it just hit me right in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back, like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face, She's pointing. Oh, it was brutal. Then she started like breaking up some stuff. You know, of course it was all my stuff and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can, let her calm down. Oh, that's great, that's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny, if I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. <laughs>